Hello, welcome to Maths with J. So we want to find an expression for the nth term of this sequence. We've got n representing the term that we're on, so the first term, the second term, third term, and we've got up to a fourth term, haven't we? And let's have t for the actual term in the sequence. So we've got 2, 7, 12, 17. And then we're interested in seeing what the difference is between each term. So we can see that if we add 5 onto 2, we get 7. Similarly, adding 5 onto 7, we get 12. And the same thing here. So it's important that we're looking at a positive number here. So let's just put a little plus in there. And for our formula, this is a linear sequence because we've got a constant difference. It's going up by five each time. The, uh, the formula is going to start off simply with 5n. So a bit like the five times table, except it's not the five times table because it's not one times five is five, two, five is 10 and so on. It's not five, 10, 15, 20, but it's similar to that, isn't it? And the way to find out what we need to add or subtract from the five times table well, all we actually need to do is look at our terms and think about what the previous one in the sequence would be. So we've already seen that we need to add five on each time to get to the next term. Well, what about if there was a term before the first term? So instead of adding on five, can you see that we would subtract five? And that number is going to give us the number we need to add on to the five n to get the nth term. So 2 subtract 5 will be minus 3, so that's what we put in here. And we can check our formula. So if we check for any value of n that we've already got here, 1, 2, 3 or 4, so let's take um, n equals 4, and then that will give us, putting n into our formula, 5 times 4 minus 3, so 20 minus 3, and that is equal to 17. So you could have checked any of those four, and it would give you the correct answer, 2, 7, 12, and so on. And also, now that we've got the formula, we could find any term in the sequence that we want. For example, the hundredth term. So when n is 100, we'd have 5 times 100 minus 3. So 500 minus 3 would be 497. So the hundredth term in this sequence would be 497.